In this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite no age statement bottling of Macallan, and that's the Macallan Private Eye. So Macallan have produced a lot of no age statement whiskey recently, and I don't really like it, as you can probably tell. In the end of the video on the Macallan 25 year olds, we did hit out at all the people spending silly amounts of money on no age statement folio editions, uh, folios and editions, but this is a no age statement bottling, but I absolutely love it. But why do I love it and why do I think it's such a good uh, bottle? So what is the bottle? So it's the Macallan Private Eye. So it was released to commemorate the 35th anniversary of the British uh, political satire magazine called Private Eye. It was released in 1996 and it was a meagre £36 a bottle when it was released. So it's... It's one of a number of ventures that Macallan did with commercial partners to produce these no age statement bottlings. And these are sort of like uh, commercial marketing pieces really. So they did this one here, which is the Macallan uh, for the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. And then we've also got this one here, which is what they did for Charles and Diana's wedding in 1981. So. McCarran has this history, long history really, of doing specialist no age statement bottles, which is why the folios make so much sense to them. But these bottles have got so much more heritage and pedigree, but why is that the case? First up, let's take a look at the bottle itself. So as ever, it's in a liquor bottle, uh, liquor bottle Scotland bottle here, and it's your, pretty much your standard whiskey bottle that you'll find throughout the 1990s on most releases. The capsule, this is under parafilm, and we are gonna be doing a video next on parafilm and why we put it over our capsules here. But it's got a standard uh, black capsule with a bit of gold foil around the bottom or gold coloring around the bottom. And then it's got a plastic topped driven cork inside it. And it's, you know, you pretty much a standard closure on it. Now, there was a very limited number of bottles that were sold by Fortnum and Mason, the famous store in London, that had completely gold capsules. So be aware of that because they can command a premium, even though some people think that those gold capsules are fakes. So the label itself on the front, we'll go into the illustration in a moment, but it's on a screen printed label. So all of these funny edges on the bottle, uh, uh, edges of the label here, these are all integrated. So there's not like a label that you can peel off here. And that's why it keeps this beautiful color on it. At the bottom, we've got a limited edition number here. So this one's 3302 out of 5,000. The eagle-eyed people watching the video will notice that the B-roll features a slightly different number because that bottle that we filmed the B-roll on has since sold and this is a different bottle that's coming in that we're selling at the moment. And then on the back of the label, you've got a transparent label and this is like a sticky or standard transparent label that you could essentially peel off if you wanted to. The whiskey inside this bottle, as you can tell, has got an incredible amount of colour to it. And on the back of the label, it's probably worth reading this out in, in total. It says, this whiskey commemorates the 35th anniversary of Private Eye. It has been selected by whiskey maker F.A. Newlands at the Macallan Distillery and includes cask number 1580, bonded 1961, 40% ABV, 70 CL, and restricted to 5,000 bottles. So there's a few interesting points on there. We do get a glimmer of the whiskey that is inside this. It contains cask 1580 inside of it, but they've had to vat together many, many, many casks to get a bottle yield of 5,000 bottles. So it's likely to have been watered down or diluted to get it down to that 40% ABV to again, to further increase the yield. So yes, we do get more insight than modern bottlings of like the folios, etc. but we probably get less insight than the likes that we do on the edition series. So in the edition series on something that will tell you exactly the makeup of the types of casks, this just says it's cask 1580, which might have had a teaspoon of whiskey left in it for all anybody knows. So the F.A. Newland refers to Frank Newlands, who was the chief nose at Macallan at the time. So we can argue that the whiskey inside here is probably going to be pretty good. However, it's never been sampled or critically reviewed. So it's not on the likes of Whiskey Fun and some of the other main whiskey reviewing sites. The label itself on the front, as we've said, features this amazing illustration and it's by an artist called Ralph Steadman. So why was Ralph used as the illustrator? Well, actually, it makes a lot of sense. So Ralph was born in 1936 uh, over in the Wirral in Cheshire 
and he has had a long history with both Private Eye, he did a lot of illustrations for the magazine, and also with Whiskey. So a few years before he did this illustration for McAllen and Private Eye, he released a book called Still Life with Bottle, Whiskey According to Ralph Steadman. And again, it's a great book. And he did a lot of other illustrations for various magazines, I think in issue six of Whiskey Magazine, there's an in-depth interview with him. And he actually goes on to say that some of his best illustrations and work has been done under the influence of whiskey and it's quite an interesting interview really because he kind of insinuates he kind of drinks a bit too much whiskey and is having a little bit time off it now. So if I keep on bashing people who buy folio ones for £9,000 then why am I advocating spending four, four and a half thousand, five thousand pounds on a bottle of private eye and the reality of it is is that this is a historical bottle you know it was bottled in 1996 over 25 years ago now it was originally released with 5,000 bottles it was ori originally released at a time when people were drinking Macallan and not just buying it to invest in flipping it so there's a significantly smaller number of these bottles around today than there were you know than there was when it was first released the likes of the folios they're pretty much solely bought by people who flip whiskey they don't buy them to enjoy them and consume them so their numbers aren't getting any lower you know the original release is pretty much going to have the same number of bottles in it than it, you know than it is compared to this one so if you're gonna buy no age statement Macallan, you know this is half the price we've got this on the shop at the moment for four and a half thousand pounds but that's half the price of what the folio one's been going for recently at auction this bottle again go to rare whiskey 101 go to whiskey hunter you've got nearly 30 years worth of data on the sale of these bottles at auction so you can see how it's been increasing in value over time and again you look at these bottles in context with each other so you've got the raffles uh, the raffles Macallan that's here you know that makes three to four thousand pounds at auction again you've got the royal marriage it's several you know it's three four four and a half thousand pounds for that bottle again private eye similar sort of money you know there's one sold recently at auction for just over four thousand pounds these bottles you know 1981 1983 1996 and they're only sort of three four five thousand pounds that's the historical context. You, look at, you then look at these folios, for instance, are up to 9,000 pounds at auction, and it's just way, way skewed. You know, they don't have that history or placement in the market. They haven't been around for that long. Whereas bottles like this and the Raffles and the Charles and Diana bottles, they're part of Macallan's DNA. They're part of what made Macallan today the brand that it is. So if you're looking to buy a no age statement bottle, then I would always say go for the private eye. It's one of the most iconic bottles of Macallan that's on the market in my opinion, and it's relatively inexpensive, especially when compared to some of the other bottles that are available at the moment. If you've got a bottle of Macallan that you would like to sell, or you want to buy a bottle of private eye, head over to the Mark Littler website and we can help you both buy and sell your bottles.